I, I can do whatever I want. Oh, oh this is this the champ right here, man. Oh my God, he's a good fighter, man. Yo, you're a fake dude, bro. Just days before their fight, Canelo Alvarez and Edgar Berlanga had a face-to-face -face meeting that turned chaotic. Both fighters were unable to control their anger and frustration, and during the heated exchange, Canelo headbutted Berlanga, causing a severe head injury. The incident has raised concerns about whether Berlanga will be able to continue with the fight. It will now be up to medical professionals to decide if he is fit to compete. Like any press conference, things began calmly. Berlanga opened up by mentioning that he had been boxing since he was seven years old. It seemed like he wanted Canelo to understand that he wasn't someone to take lightly. He wanted to prove that his years in the ring made him ready for this challenge. He made it clear that his experience wasn't a joke and that he was coming into the fight fully prepared to show his worth. And you know, that's why everybody hating. I've been boxing since I was seven, bro. I've been, I was born into this shit. But Canelo didn't seem too thrilled with Berlanga's message. Instead of getting into a back and forth with him, the Mexican champion shifted the conversation to himself. He mentioned that he was focused on reaching even greater heights, as if what he had already achieved wasn't enough. It was clear that Canelo wasn't interested in attacking Berlanga directly, but was more focused on improving his own legacy. This calm response from Canelo didn't sit well with Berlanga. He probably expected a fight in words, but Canelo was too experienced for that. Canelo's choice to talk about his future accomplishments seemed to show that he didn't view Berlanga as a serious threat. I want to put my name in, in, in a big stage, in a big, uh, in a big position uh, for my history. So, and I still enjoy it. I love what I do. To make things more interesting, Canelo actually admitted that Berlinga is a good fighter. Wait, what? This is something you don't hear every day from Canelo. It's not often that he compliments his opponents like this. It seems like Canelo recognizes the skills that Berlinga brings to the ring. And that's a big deal coming from someone with Canelo's experience. Berlinga has never lost a fight. And that undefeated record is no joke. So it looks like Canelo respects that and wants to acknowledge what Berlinga has accomplished so far. It's almost like Canelo is giving credit where it's due, even though he's still confident in his own abilities. For a moment, this compliment made the atmosphere a bit less tense. But even with this show of respect, everyone knows Canelo isn't going to go easy on Berlanga. A compliment from Canelo doesn't mean he's going to hold back. If anything, it could be a way to motivate Berlanga, making the upcoming fight even more intense. He's a good fighter. He's a good fighter, a strong fighter, young fighter. When Berlanga was asked about the upcoming fight, he said that it's not all about who has had the most fights or the best record. He believes what really matters is how smart you are in the ring. It's not just about strength or experience but how you use your brain to outthink your opponent. According to Berlanga, this is where he shines. He confidently stated that his battle IQ is higher than Canelo's. He feels like he has the edge when it comes to strategy and making smart moves during a fight. This might come as a surprise to some since Canelo is known for his skill, but Berlanga seems certain that his intelligence in the ring will give him the upper hand. What I know is that is this, it's not physical about this fight. You know what I'm saying? It's all this. It's mental. It's the intelligence. And that's what's going to make the difference. You know what I'm saying? It's not a, everybody keeps saying about the power, about, oh, you big, you strong. Canelo responded confidently, saying that the fights he has already won prove his battle IQ is unbeatable. He questioned how Berlanga could possibly outsmart him when he has already defeated some of the greatest fighters in the world. For Canelo, it's not just about being undefeated or having an easy record. It's about who you've faced and how you've come out on top. He pointed out that Berlanga, despite his clean record, has only fought weaker opponents. In Canelo's mind, Berlanga hasn't faced anyone with real power or skill yet. And that's why he doesn't fully understand what it takes to win at this level. Canelo thinks it's laughable that someone with less experience would claim to have a higher battle IQ than him. I can do whatever I want. Oh, oh, this is this the champ right here, man. Oh my God, he's a good fighter, man. Yo, you're a fake dude, bro. Canelo has been dominating the super middleweight division since February 2021. He became the king of this division after crushing Avni Yildrim, taking home his first world title at 168 pounds. Just two fights later, in November 2021, Canelo became the undisputed champion when he knocked out Caleb Plant in the second to last round of their fight in Las Vegas.
With such a strong record, it's hard to imagine how anyone could defeat him, especially someone like Berlanga. Canelo has defended his titles four times since becoming the super middleweight champion. Even though he no longer holds the IBF belt, he is still considered the best fighter and the biggest star in the division. His skills and achievements keep him at the top, and many fans continue to support him. However, there has been some criticism in recent years. People believe he should be fighting tougher opponents to really prove he's the best, like David Benavidez. Puerto Rico's Edgar Berlanga became known for his incredible start in boxing, winning his first 16 fights by first round knockout. This got a lot of people talking about his power and potential. However, after that amazing streak, things slowed down a bit. Berlanga struggled in his next five fights, winning only by points and not looking as impressive against weaker opponents. People started to wonder if his knockout power was fading or if he was losing his touch. But Berlanga showed he still had what it takes in his most recent fight. In February, he faced Paddy McCrory and finally got back to his knockout form, reminding everyone why he was such a talked about fighter in the first place. That victory helped rebuild some of the confidence in his abilities. It showed that maybe those tough fights were just a bump in the road and that he still has the power to end fights early. Even with Berlanga's recent knockout win, many boxing experts still aren't convinced. They argue that he might not be as strong as his record suggests. Sure, he's undefeated, but some say that's because he picks his opponents carefully. They believe Berlanga only fights people he knows he can beat, avoiding the real tough competition. This has caused some critics to think his clean record doesn't mean much. They feel that a fighter should face the best to truly prove their worth. Berlanga, however, seems to be taking a safer route by sticking to easier opponents. It's something that makes the boxing pros doubt his strength and skill. Berlanga doesn't agree with those critics. He argues that if he were just picking easy fights, he wouldn't have chosen to fight Canelo. Canelo is one of the best fighters right now, and facing him is a huge challenge. If Berlanga was really just trying to protect his record, he wouldn't pick such a tough opponent. He points out that fighting Canelo could actually hurt his record, not help it. By choosing to face someone as skilled as Canelo, Berlanga is risking a lot. If he loses, it would definitely affect his perfect record. So, Berlanga believes that taking on Canelo shows he's serious about proving his worth, not just avoiding tough fights. If I'm choosing my opponents wisely, why would I face Canelo right now? Especially when my career is on the rise, it doesn't make sense to step into a fight that could tarnish my record so soon. I've got momentum, and taking on Canelo at this stage could set me back when I've got a lot more to accomplish first. With the fight just days away, do you think this face-to-face -face interview has made things more exciting? So, what do you think? Who are you rooting for and why? Share your thoughts in the comments below.